let's discuss about the most common headaches that we come across in our day to day life. It could be primary headaches or it could be secondary headaches. Primary headaches are something there are no underlying metabolic or structural abnormality. But in secondary headaches, there could be underlying structural or metabolic abnormality. It could be a tumor in the brain or it could be a head injury, it could be a bleed, it could be a subarachnoid hemorrhage, it could be a hypertension so or any systemic disorder or it could be a vascular disorder that can lead to secondary headaches. Whereas primary headaches are the most commonest or 90% of the cases that we see in OPD or most of us suffer with are mostly primary headaches and these are not life threatening conditions and these account for nearly 90% of the headaches that we see day to day. So among these the most commonest ones are migraines, tension headache and also cluster headache and hypertension headache and sinus headache. These are the most commonest ones that we see. Amongst these primary headaches are migraine, cluster headache and tension headache. So these three are the most commonest primary headaches that we see and secondary headaches, uh, the most commonest ones we see are sinus headache and hypertension headache. Let's elaborate uh, in detail about primary headaches that is migraine. Migraine is usually moderate to severe in severity, seen mostly in middle age group, also in adolescents aging from 12 years onwards. So it can be mostly unilateral, that is one side of the head, uh, head is involved wherein we see moderate to severe intensity. It can start anywhere from uh, uh, 4 hours uh, and it can prolong up to 3 days. So it is a crescendo type. The headache once sets in, it increases in severity and it can last for up to 4 days starting from 4 hours. So this is the kind of headache that we see which can be associated with some symptoms or which cannot be. So the symptoms that we usually see with migraine are called aura wherein a patient feels some abnormality which is followed by a headache. So it could be uh, abnormality of uh, sensitivity in light, the wherein uh, any bright light triggers headache or any loud noises can trigger a headache. These are called aura. So patient can have these aura followed by 30 to 40 minutes followed by the these aura, patient can suffer headache. So these are the migraine headaches which are mostly unilateral sometimes associated with aura, moderate to severe intensity and patient can have these symptoms like nausea, feeling of vomiting or increased sensitivity to sound and light when pre patient prefers to sit in a quiet and dark room. And coming to other common headache which is cluster headache. Cluster headache also is usually experienced on one side of the face but usually around the eye which is associated with watering of the eyes, watering of the nose which is called rhinorrhea or sometimes there is swelling of the upper eyelid and most commonly seen in middle aged men. And this uh, kind of severity is usually stabbing and most excruciating and severe pain which can last from 15 minutes up to 3 hours. This is the cluster headache and this can have up to 8 episodes in a day. Patient can have up to 8 episodes in a day and the patient can have as many as 10 to 15 episodes per month. So this is cluster headache. Next comes our tension headache. Tension headache is usually squeezing band like sensation over the head usually seen on both sides of the head and there are no associating features. This uh, 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 tension type headache usually do not uh, is not associated with any other symptoms and it is not exaggerated with day-to-day uh, -day activities whereas migraine it is usually exaggerated with day-to-day -day activities and which will uh, restrict us from doing any day-to-day -day activities but tension headache is usually mild to moderate in severity which can last for two to three hours or up to a week so it is not uh, usually exaggerated with day-to-day -day activities and not usually associated with nausea or vomiting or photophobia or photophobia. And this is a band squeezing sensation which is present on either sides of the head. So patient can have a bilateral headache. 
So these are the commonest. Now coming to sinus headaches. Sinus headaches are usually seen behind your brow bones or behind your cheekbones, which are mild to moderate in intensity in the beginning. And as the inflammation increases, that is usually there can be inflammation or infection in the lining of the sinus cavities, which are present behind the cheekbones and behind the uh, brow bones. And this inflammation or infection as it grows, the severity can increase fr uh, from mild to moderate to severe. And the next common secondary headache that we usually see is a hypertension headache, which is usually uh, there on the back of the head and it increases in severity as the blood pressure rises. So these two are the commonest secondary headaches that we see in day to day life, the sinus headache and the hypertension headache, which are associated with underlying uh, medical abnormality or underlying condition. But primary headaches are the most commonest ones we see and are not life-threatening and up to 90% of the headaches that we see are the primary headaches. So hope this video is helpful to you. I'm Dr. Samta, consultant physician, uh, diabetologist from Shadan Institute of Medical Sciences. I'm assistant professor in general medicine department and I'm also a consultant physician at MediLab Clinics, Copapate. Hope this video is useful to you and if you need any other assistance, please contact me. Thank you.